it's a closing for John. Um, we waited 43 years, and um, um, it, it did my heart good to see all the people that turned out today. Folks gathered Saturday at Kingsley High School to honor John Burgess. It's been a long journey for this family. It was such an honor to be here and be a member of the family and help them out through this process. John was listed as missing in action since 1970 when his helicopter crashed near the Cambodian border. John's sister never thought she would see this day. I guess not because um, we waited so long, you know, and um, I just thought he was out there somewhere. The family has held on to one another for support, and thanks to a recent discovery of new artifacts, John's remains were buried this past July at Arlington National Cemetery with full military honors. I was able to see the whole ceremony and uh, was very moved by it. They gave him a funeral equivalent to that of a president. Uh, it was a real uh, honor to see that happen after so many years. It was an honor to have him come back to his roots, with his roots, because once a Native American, always one. The memorial service went from the high school to a nearby cemetery, where soil from John's gravesite at Arlington was placed in the ground by his brother, Bill Burgess. John is a hero. He's a hero to all of us here. If in nothing else, John brought us all back together. Family members quickly learned the effect John had on complete strangers. As one lady said when I was walking out of the um, gym, I asked her who she was. She was crying and she said she will never forget him and she didn't even know him. That was great. I think he will be remembered. In Grand Traverse County, Brendan Kinney, 7 and 4 News.